Okay, like literally, can we just have a moment for the Holland Cooper contour trousers? I need them in all colours, honestly. So, <laughs> not the best angle, but they've got this lovely kind of like hardware, a bit like the jumper jeans, and they're just so flattering. They're just so, okay, excuse my bloated belly, real life and all, but they're just like so flattering they're so comfy they don't show any lumps or bumps like they they're great they are worth their weight in salt so well done holland cooper you've got me hooked still a bit unsure about what kind of how i'm gonna style brown trousers because i thought it'd be easy but i feel like certain colors just don't go but i've got kind of this cream jumper on today with them and it looks all right but um it's just another excuse to go back on Holland Cooper because they style it in the picture like this really nice thing it's called oatmeal like roll neck top and it just looks lovely and I did just put my debarries on just to go out in the garden and do some dog training with Amber and I was like oh they go really well so perhaps it's a potential outfit for the game fair in uh, East Anglia next month Withers. This is how I spend most of my time getting absolutely hounded by the two hounds in the house. Say hi, Olive. <gasps> hi. It's Monday. I am now the 27 year old because I had my birthday at the weekend, uh, which was, it was nice. I caught up with my family, had Chinese takeaway. So all good. And then yesterday I had a polo lesson a bit of birthday polo although I came away from that lesson feeling a bit disheartened because firstly the horse that I loved she was just the cutest little ginger ginger mare um she they sold her so she's no longer at that club she's at another club in the area so I um had a new horse this time and Let's just say me and that horse did not see eye to eye. He was, I guess, I was saying to Emma that because I'm still quite an inexperienced rider, I don't have great horsemanship yet. I think the horse kind of picked up on that and my instructor did say like the horse was really taking the piss. And then I just like put my foot in it really because I wore a gilet and I took it off and I tried to hook it off like where it was resting with the polo mallet to then like bring it up completely forgot the horses get scared of stuff like that so then the horse is like oh like <laughs> got a bit a bit spooked so yeah I just feel like I didn't get very far with that lesson because of because of the horse but I blame myself because uh I'm the one that's like not okay with horses yet I feel like I need to just like go and spend time with horses and get used to their little quirks uh yeah so that's that but I have another lesson in two weeks time I'm doing it fortnightly now to really like get into it and make sure I always I'm like remembering what I'm doing um yeah so today is Monday as I said had a stressful little hour this morning um I had to go and just run some errands quickly so I took both dogs out separately um and then Olive, she did a poo and slept in it. So I had to wash her paw. And then literally Amber, tiny dog, but she does the stinkiest dog farts. And it just stunk downstairs. It like I was like looking around trying to find the stealthy poo and there wasn't. It was literally just Amber's bum hole smelling. The joys of owning dogs. That's all I can say. Um... Yeah, but they're nice and calm now. I have young farms this evening and I'm quite I'm quite excited because we're going to look at like Ineos Grenadier cars. Love I love a good car like that. So I'm really looking forward to that. I I don't know, I spent all night last night configuring SUVs online because I really want a green car, like British Racing Green or something, with a tan interior. Lovely, but the only cars that really have those are like super expensive ones, which I'm not guessing, obviously. Um, as much as I would like an Aston Martin at the moment after sitting in one in Cheltenham. So I can dream, I can dream. 
car manufacturers, please can you bring out more green cars? Olive, what are you doing? So I've just had a delivery. Obviously it was my birthday on Saturday and my uncle gave me some money for my birthday. So I thought I would buy this lovely bangle I've had my eye on. Um, it's from Etsy. What's the company? It's EFG Polo. I will um, link them in the description box below. Oh, excuse my awful nails. <laughs> I'm getting taken off at the weekend. But yeah, it's, it's just stunning and I've got the ring that matches. So can't wait to wear that. In fact, I'm going to wear it now. Yeah, it just looks like really nice, like really dainty and you know, polo's my personality these days. <laughs> so got to wear it. This is how you know you are dogs living in a Ukrainian Jewish household. <laughs> They're eating leftover buckwheat from dinner. Is that nice, Amber? Like, she sucks food, she doesn't actually eat it. Oh my god, there's buggy flying everywhere that's come here. No, no, stick to your own. I'm at you from my really messy office, but um, I think I've said before, I do, I do love a bit of vintage. Like, nowadays I like to kind of see what's on there first before I buy something new. And I kind of, like, I'm really into v-neck stuff at the moment, jumpers. So, I had a look, and I don't know... I suppose it depends on your age if you remember the brand Rampant Sporting. I believe they were owned by Jules, but kind of dropped off the face of the earth around the time that Jules quality went bad and Jack Wills went chubby. So I bought this lovely cricket dress from Vinted for £2.50. And I was just looking at like the composition to see how to wash it. And it's wool and cashmere, like bonkers for £2.50. Yeah, it's just like really lovely in really good condition and I can't wait to wear it. So yeah, definitely goes to the show. Have a look on Vinted if you're on the hunt for new clothes.